judging works this way. What a lot of people don't realize, you're looking at the plates and you say, oh my God, this looks beautiful. For beautiful, you only get 10 points out of 100. And even competitors often don't realize until we make them aware of that, that 35% of the entire score happens in the kitchen. So that is the way you work in the kitchen. Do you work clean? Do you work organized? Uh, what amount of waste do you have? Do you have special culinary techniques? Are you on time? That is 35% of your total score. The other 65% are the tasting. So the tasting, it is 10 points, the presentation of the food. It is 10 points of, uh, do we use indigenous Caribbean ingredients? So you choose as a vegetable, green beans, carrots and celery. They are not Caribbean ingredients, but if you choose uh, San Cristofine, uh, mango, papaya, and some other uh, root vegetable that are uh, common in the Caribbean, you're gonna get the full score. If you don't choose to use them, I'm gonna uh, score you lower. And then the, the, the main score, 25% is, it's about the taste. And the taste is broken down into flavor, into texture. Do you have different textures within the dish? Is everything soft or do you have a crunch? You have a soft, you have a sweet, you have a spice, you have a little bit of sour in there. So is it really a well-rounded plate? I'm now for 14 years uh, a part of this competition and I think the competition elevates itself every single year. And I would say about five years back I saw a really big change when we really focus, when we give the competitors feedback and we talk about what can you do to make contemporary Caribbean cuisine. And that's the goal now, it is to create contemporary Caribbean cuisine. So what does that mean? It means cook with the ingredients of your mother, cook with the flavors of your grandmother, but put them on the plate in a presentation of a master chef.